Isn't God wonderful? God is wonderful, gracious God that gives all that we need. So we are all welcome. Welcome everyone to this afternoon's broadcast as we look at detoxification and water therapy. It's um, health is not just about one particular thing. It's comprehensive, you know, and when we talk about anti-aging, we talk about good health, stamina and the rest, then you need to have the total um, comprehensive lifestyle that can actually give you the best health. We are all welcome, welcome as we look at detoxification and water therapy. Kindly share on your page, on your profile and to friends who might need it. This, you know, detox and water therapy is for actually everyone. It's actually for everyone and the more knowledge you have. Last on Saturday, we handled your BMI and we looked at, um, I calculated some people's BMI and we talked about how it's related to good health and what you can do. We will look deep into it, how you can do it and how you can actually enjoy your life. Of course, we some of us have had a lot about water therapy and all the good things we can do for you. The origin, Chinese people, Japanese people and how it's been very helpful to elongate their lifespan and you know, things like that. Incidentally, I was talking with the lady and when she told me the quantity of water she takes in a day, I was alarmed. Well, me particularly, I wasn't a water person until I met my husband. No wonder I used to actually have serious constipation. For some of these habits that we take for granted are part of the things causing so many illnesses for us. Water, as we'll find out as we go on, is a major part of our body. And you know, if you want something to feel good, give it what it contains. It's just like fish. If you put fish inside water, it's happy. If you take the bed to the air, it's happy. So when you give the body water that is composed of, the, the body is happy. So we actually need to look into that and make sure that we give our bodies what they need. Alright, so we'll go into this afternoon's teaching. My name once again is Ngozi Achonwan. I teach men and women natural products for healthy living. I also coach you on how you can enjoy your life optimally now while reducing your aging process, you know, rejuvenating, get having more stamina. I also coach and mentor people on weight loss, belly fat trimming, and how they can move away from you know, a conventional medicine to a lifestyle change that can actually give them the best of health that they need. So this afternoon we are looking at detoxification and I want to ask what is de detoxification? You know, it's you know what our bodies generally do. It's a natural process that God has already you know, put our bodies through when we created us is a natural process that our body all, always goes through. So every minute of every day, our body interacts with other organs for, you know, the harmful substances to be removed and also or be neutralized in the body. You know, so our body goes through that. But detoxification could also mean like a temporary dietary intervention, you know, specifically designed to eliminate toxins from the body. So usually when people talk about programs of detox and detoxification diet, you know, this is the process they're talking about. But naturally, our bodies detoxify every time. You know, when you're sweating, when you're urinating, and also internally in the system, when some dead cells are eaten by you know, the living ones, you know, all these are kind of cleansing and removal of all these things from our system. So when talking about natural detoxification, different organs work hand in hand to cleanse the body. The liver, for example, filters maybe like an average of 1.4 liters of blood every minute. How awesome God is. Every particular minute, our liver is at work filtering you know, that quantity of blood. God is so much. I really appreciate and I thank God. And I'm so grateful that this God has made everything to work all in one. And you know, He has made our body to be able to give itself, cleanse itself, do all these things. Just the natural things or you know some of the things we do around us that is now interfering with that natural process that God has already placed us. 
But on the other hand, detoxification through intervention, you know, human interventions also involves things like fasting. Like when you talk about fasting, then you can talk about autophagy, you know, fasting without water, you know, to make sure that you actually allow the dead part of the, the, the dead cells to be eaten by the living one and you know you starve yourself through fasting and then some diet you draw out from certain kinds of food like meat some types of meat and you know trying to eat certain types of food maybe like vegetables and fruits and so that you'll be able to now have that intervention of detoxification in the programs that you can have when we talk about detox uh, detox programs you know, so detoxification and detox diet or programs, they are like short um, term interventions that people design, different people, different companies, different health centers, you know, they design it to eliminate toxins from the body, promote health, and also assist with weight loss and belly fat training. Especially for people who have health issues, you find that, that they are placed on some kind of detox so that it can help they help them to have better lives but in essence it's really you know just like creating the perfect condition to support our body in doing the job it was actually made to do our bod bodies our system god has already made them to actually detoxify naturally on its own like i said the body god made it to heal itself god made the body to cleanse itself so, but when the body is not actually doing that because of certain issues that we're going to be looking at later, then that's why you need some of those short-term detox program to help you do and take your body back to where it's supposed to do what it's supposed to do. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And why should you detox? Our body is constantly working to dispel toxins and unwanted matter from the various system. Like I said, that's what our body is always doing. It's always you know, working to dispel and dispel all those toxins from our system. But over time, the body gets run down from unhealthy food, you know, um, especially when you eat junk like people who on alcohol, caffeine, drugs, stress and environmental toxins, you know, they are all part of modern life, day life that we have now. I can remember one time, one guy was asking me, when I told him we needed aloe vera gel, he was like, hey, my grandmother didn't take it, and it was healthy, and you know, she lived up, he lived up to her bed and something, I said, fine, the soil during your grandmother's time is not the soil you have now. The vegetables, that time they will go to the back of the house, no fertilizer, no toxins, no free radicals, no production of anything that is, you know, in the polluting the air. So they eat fresh things. If you like, I go back to your mother's time when there was no vehicle or generator to be bringing out smokes and things like that. Anyway, so no matter how healthy your diet or lifestyle may be, external factors still require us to give the body a chance to recharge and dispel anything that may be holding us back from actually experiencing superior health and long-lasting vitality. Welcome to Chichioma. Good afternoon. You're welcome to this afternoon's podcast. So when our vital organs are placed under too much pressure and unable to work effectively and efficiently, then that is when illness and diseases will now begin to appear. So you need to take time to cleanse the body and nurture these vital organs so that it will go a long way in preventing you know, illnesses and sicknesses and also having immediate effects you know, on, on your life then, then so that you can have greater energy, clearer and glowing skin. You know? It's when your body, your system is clean and cleansed, everywhere is open that you have clear skin. You have like this morning I just had my bathroom. I didn't put any cream, I didn't put anything on my face. Nothing, nothing. I just had my bathroom morning. I see everywhere is glowing because it's from inside. It's from inside out. It's not a matter of rubbing things on your face. So you need to be clean inside. When you're clean inside, then it glows everywhere. You know, it glows and you're looking good. You need to take time to cleanse 
your system to nurture your system so that you can have better digestion, better mental health, clearer skin, smoother skin, glowing skin, more energy, good health, and so on and so forth. We have a detox where every beginning of the year, I personally, I go through my detox program. That's why I'm teaching it now, so that people can know what to do. Like I always say, every quarter I do detox. I go through, I do my I detoxification three to four times a day. That's major work like I'm having now. So I'll have it for between three to nine days, depending on how I feel and how much time I have. So I advise you to also, you know, schedule time that you can have a, to a thorough cleansing of your system. So that you'll be able to you know become new glowing if you see me in the next seven days now you you will notice the difference you know i'll be stronger i'll be healthier i'll be firmer even though i do my daily detox i have that you know habits and lifestyle of doing daily detox but even with that i still bring out every beginning of the year to make sure that i go through that routine and protocol so now, why, how do you know that your body needs to detoxify? I want to share with us maybe like 11, 10 or 11 signs that shows your body needs, you know, a detox. The first thing is you constantly feel fatty. When you're feeling, always feeling tired, even when you wake up in the morning, you feel stressed, you feel overwhelmed, then you need to detox. Then secondly, if you experience frequent headaches, and lack of mental clarity you know you're just tired in the mind then you need to detox then when you often have some skin breakages and blemishes or you look tired or dull or you know or you lack that um, brightness and glowy you know, in your skin and the rest then you know you need to detox then also if you're having digestive issues you're having like some kind of ulcer, some kind of constipation, some kind of diarrhea and uncomfortable and irregular stooling, then you need to detox. Then also, if you're craving for unhealthy foods, if you're craving for things like fried food, processed meats, dairy, or craving for some kind of flour, you know, pastries, carbohydrates, diet, coke, and all those things like that. Just find out that you naturally crave for this thing. You go for sugar, carbonated drinks, you can't help yourself. Once you're having like kind of cravings, strong cravings and addiction, then you need to detox. Also, if you, you know, you, you frequently have naturally, if you frequently drink coffee, if you drink frequently drink alcohol, frequently your some kind of drugs because of some health issues, you know, prescription drugs from the doctor, then you need to detox. So even people who have um, cigarette issues, who are addicted to cigarettes, then you also need to, to detox. Then if you are exposed to common environmental toxins, such as carbon emissions through generators and we all have them here and there cigarette smokes happy sites for those of us maybe who even live in the village but we live where they farm and they always spread the things on the, the farm pesticide artificial fragrances and household chemicals you know there was a time they were washing a place where i was and they were using them i think they called it acid trying to clean up the toilet. If you see how pungent the smell was, you know, somebody who inhales such things frequently will need frequent detoxification. Because, you know, they found out at a time where they had industries and there were a lot of emissions that people who lived there were short life, you know, their longevity was reduced more than those who were living in the countryside. So all these things are part of the things that tells you that you need to detox. You can go ahead and ask your questions and then I'm going to be answering them later in the, in the broadcast when we move on. So if you are carrying excess body weights, like last week, or I think on Saturday, yes, Saturday, we, we measured our BMI. If your BMI is more than normal, if your belly fat, I also um, told, told us that we can go ahead and measure our BMI and um, our belly fat um, 
measurement if it's also more than what it should be then you need to detox then if you often feel emotionally unstable depressed unmotivated lacking energy and enthusiasm you need to detox when you did sometimes some of those things you think it's just about mental or spiritual issue it actually has to do with your 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 your, your health <coughs> when you're healthier you will actually feel better. Sorry, excuse me. When you're healthier, you actually feel better. So, then if your breath and body odor seems to have an alarming stink or, you know, you just notice yourself that you're beginning to smell the way you don't like no matter how much deodorant you use or how much toothpaste you use, then you actually need to detox. So, actually, a detox is your opportunity to give this, your body, a break and allow your own self-cleansing and self-healing processes to kick into gear. Then your body is actually, God, like I said, made our bodies to be innately you know and intelligent and to have periodic cleansing in a way that it can reset the bodies and start us also back on a healthier happier and more vibrant us so detox is a must for anybody who wants to actually live a healthy life i'm going to be looking at some benefits of um, detoxification but before then i want to give us a little tip maybe like four tips or five tips for effective detox you know the first tip is hydration when you are going through detoxification you must be hydrated you must take plenty of water and that's why i also want to briefly talk about water therapy for those of us in the group we started today and we started with our water therapy <laughs> it was so exciting some of the questions the people were asking and some of the comments that we are making at the background welcome joy you know welcome to this afternoon's <laughs> broadcast so we started with water therapy and of course okay before i go through what water therapy is i'll briefly share with us <laughs> You know, why is water important? Water is very important because it eliminates toxin, toxic you know, particles and also helps to rejuvenate our cells. So you need to aim at taking three to five liters of water every day. Of course, those of us who are in the weight loss group, we know that's natural for us. Those who I have a group, we have a chat room where we discuss and we tell ourselves about it. You know, weight loss and we help ourselves to make sure we maintain good weight. If you want to join it, you can put weight loss group or verify group and I can still bring it. It's still free. Very soon I will close the free group. Anyway, so you need to aim at taking 3 to 5 liters of water every day. And how this can happen? How do you make sure you are able to take this? You know, you need to do your early morning water therapy. That's the first routine that you must incorporate into your lifestyle your early morning water therapy then you also use meal times as a reminder to make sure you're hydrated so how do you do this you can take like 500 ml that's like a sachet water or one bottle 75 cl water take it before each meal so like now of course you know you're supposed to have your breakfast lunch and dinner but of course, for us in the weight loss group, we have only one cooked meal in a day. Our breakfast is like healthy smoothies, which I have a good for. And then our dinner, if you're having, you can exchange your cooked meal, either your, your lunch or your dinner, whichever one. Then the second meal is like fruits or vegetables that you eat and nuts that you eat. And then your main meal. And of course, we are also watching our calories in the group. We teach ourselves all these things. How to check each meal you're eating to make sure of how much calorie it is that you're keeping to your calorie deficit. You know, so that you can gradually and as a lifestyle reduce this weight and actually reduce the belly fat. Alright, so if you now, I'm trying to tell you how you can easily take your 3 to 5 liters of water every day. 
So I said the first one is your early morning water therapy. For early morning water therapy, you are supposed to take 1.5 liter that early morning, what I'm holding in my hand. So if you take 1.5 liter during your early morning therapy, and then you now go to your exercise. During your exercise, you can decide to take 75 cl or one liter or even another 1.5, depending on how long your exercise is and how much time you have. And then the remaining, let's say like two to three liters of water remaining from the baby, three meals before each meal we take away another like uh, 1.5 from you and then the remaining 1.5 you just place it after meal when you're relaxing so if you do it like that you'll be able to easily you know come up to the five liters and again replace your 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 carbo carbonated drinks and fruit juices with water water is the best thing you can do to your body all right we can ask our questions and i'll still answer our questions as we, as we go on so we're looking at detoxification and water therapy and how it can help you the process of how you can take it and i'm saying that for detoxification the first thing is that you must be hydrated because it's when you take water and you're hydrated that you know you're able to remove those thoughts is it that true sweating or through urine and then you are able to rejuvenate your cells in a way that the, the, the good cells and the living cells can put up the dead cell and they are all active and you're looking younger so we, we are now on talking about water therapy and i said every day you're supposed to take between three to five liters of water and i've told you how easy you can do this so how to maximize the benefit of water therapy Water therapy is very, very important. It's very, very, you know, time will not permit me to go through all the benefits of water therapy. Also because the, the benefits of detoxification covers the benefits of water therapy. But water therapy is you wake up in the morning. It's very simple. It's very practical. It's very cheap. It's part of the cheapest health, you know, um, lifestyle change you can adopt cheapest thing you can do to your body okay joy i'm going to add you to the group all right or no i'll add you to the group all right so then the the protocol for 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 water therapy is this okay immediately you wake up in fact before you sleep fill your 1.5 liter <laughs> and keep beside your bed not your night bottle water you know you are supposed to always have bottle beside, water beside you. you can wake up choking you can wake up coughing you can wake up nothing you can wake up very thirsty you're supposed to have a bottle of water beside you that you can just sip so that you feel better but not drinking too much water in the night so that you don't wake up several times to use the toilet but you, you just so you have your one point this is 1.5 liter i'm advertising ever <laughs> anyway this is free advice for them <laughs> All right, so you have your, your 1.5 liter of water. The basic protocol is this. Immediately you wake up in the morning, you drink 1.5 liter of water, which is equivalent to like, if I pour it now, it will be like five or seven glasses, depending on the size of the glass and the shape of the glass. All right, so, and what, what happens is that you will not eat or drink any other thing one hour before and one hour after and that's why it's very good for you to do it immediately you wake up because immediately you wake up you wouldn't have eaten anything you know and then it's, it's still early for you to begin to think about breakfast so immediately you wake up you take your 1.5 liter of water and then it might not be easy for people who have not done it before like some people this morning this was the first time <laughs> They are trying for oh, somebody said there's no way I can finish 1.5 feet. And as we discussed, she found out how easy it will be for her. I gave her some tips that she can use to be sure she finishes the 1.5 meter. My own wasn't difficult. In three minutes, I finished my own. But because I was trying to answer one or two people that 6 a.m. in the group, it took me another, you know, it took me another extra two minutes to gulp up the remaining part of the bottle. And to make it easy for the meat, I drink it from the bottle. If you're pouring it in the cup, you know, it's cumbersome and you might not be able to, you know, finish it. You might even get tired. I just did cough, 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 75 cl. I dropped it, relaxed. 
after about a minute or so, you know, after about a minute again, I think. So when you're starting out, you may want to make it easier by, you know, taking maybe like four glasses or two glasses, then you will pause, and then you take another two glasses, then you will pause before you finish it. But you need to finish it within the shortest space of time. You shouldn't really elongate. So water therapy is very, very good for you. So if you take one point five liter early in the morning, then during your exercise, which is also very compulsory, and which is the second thing, second tip we need when we are having detox. You know, exercise strengthens your lung, your lung capacity and ability. It helps you burn some calories and also help you to lose weight and belly fat. It also strengthens and improves your muscle, you know, fat equation. So if you if you finish that your water therapy, for those of us who want to have our devotion, if you've not had our devotion and our meditation, then you can now go over to for your exercise. So you aim to move your body regularly throughout the day. Sedentary life is not good because no matter how much detox you're, you're having and you're having sedentary life, you will not give your body the opportunity to sweat and sweat out some of those toxins that are within you. So you need to break your exercises into smaller chunks. You know, you can, especially if you, you're not, um, if you don't have so much time in the morning to go through it. So you can have 10 to 30 minutes work in the morning or your aerobics and then you have some stretches during the day watch my page if you go down my page you see a number of places where i've talked about how you can exercise and how you can make sure you don't have sedentary life you know throughout let me not go so much into that they are all on my page all right uh, blessings all those who need to join the group i'm going to put you in the group so you need to incorporate being active into your 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 social social life catch up with your friends take walk with your family members then you don't always have to be in the gym but even if you're in the gym or in the house you don't try to inculcate exercise into your lifestyle then number three you need to eat real food life living food let's disease from dead food food that has been canned and kept inside town for weeks and months and years you know those food i don't know how you know, much life they have you know specific foods actually assist in deactivating toxins and also removing them from our body especially the heavy metal buildup that is in our system so aim to incorporate as much fruits and vegetables as possible into your diet then how can you do this you can do this by using whole fruits eating whole fruits like i've told us in some of my videos that we should reduce juices especially for those of us who need to do it you know today also in the book somebody was saying ah that her own is not weight loss her own is that she has no uh, no sugar no content so she needs actually to increase her sugar so people have their different issues but there is nothing that does not have a solution naturally because god has made us in a way that we will get natural solutions from every issues that we are having so you can take your smoothies you can have your salad all these will help you to eat real living food you know so you need to incorporate chlorophyll rich foods such as green vegetables you know and herbal tea into your meal remember for those of us who are middle aged and above you are lacking oestrogen so you need cytostrogen to make up for the oestrogen that you are you're lacking all right Vera I'm going to add you to the group so food containing citric and malic acid like grapes oranges lemons and other citrus fruits you know as well as food that are selenium rich foods like nuts Brazilian nuts like mushroom like sunflower seeds you know all these are good they assist in removal of heavy and metal build up within our body also aloe vera gel aloe vera gel is fantastic also in removal of you know toxins and metals from our system in fact i found it to be the best easiest you know when i'm talking about best i talk about it comprehensively i find it to be the best and easiest way you can do it because it comes especially forever aloe vera stabilized 99.9 percent of aloe vera 
This aloe vera has 210 nutrients and amino acids. It has selenium, saponin. It also has saponin that naturally cleanses. So it's a natural cleansing, you know, plant. And that's why a lot of people use it for, for making, you know, um, external cream, things like that, and also making foods that we bring. It cleanses our system so naturally and so beautifully that people who, like for, for me, I've already taken my aloe vera gel today because I'm going through my detox. But it's not even just during the detox. During the detox, I drink maybe like one bottle every other day or one, at most, one bottle in three days. But naturally, if, if it's uh, other days, I can use up to five to seven days to finish one bottle. But when I'm detoxifying, I take it much so that it can actually cleanse my system and move faster. I'm just going to do a very short demo. I don't have much time today. But for those of us who have not watched my demo, I'm going to do a very short demo to show us what this aloe vera can do in your system. So when I talk about taking aloe vera, this is the water I have been drinking. Let me have my tissue from my table. This is the water I have been drinking now. At least you saw me pour out of it, so it's natural water. So if I pour a bit into this cup, into this cup, that's the water I've been taking today. So if I pour a bit into both cups, I still drink it. So those who didn't see me when I took it, so this is my water. I said our body is filled with water. A high percentage of our body is ordinary water. It's water. And so, like I said, you need to give your body this water. But toxins, environmental issues, stress, and the rest are always there trying to rob us of good health. And this iodine will just represent for me all those toxins. So let's say you have stress and it enters environmental pollution and the rest. So it turns this water that is cleaner before to now become polluted. The way that a um, generator, um, what is it called? Generator smokes, car smokes and all those things can make your system not to be what it's supposed to be and pollute your system. So this is now the polluted body. So if you're like me, every morning or during my detox program, I have my aloe vera gel. This is my normal aloe vera. For example, you have, you take it as I'm taking it in my system. Let me also give this its own to take, you know. So you pour, just to demonstrate to show you. So what happens, it begins to cleanse. I know very so sweet to me that I'm taking more than, <laughs> but I need to pour in. <laughs> It begins to cleanse your system. It begins to cleanse the system until it clears out all, you know, the toxins in your system. So they cleanse this all out. You just add a little more. I'm being miserly of it. Oh my aloe vera! Oh my devil! Anyway, by the time you take your aloe vera, it cleanses your system and it will be as you're looking at the water now so you're completely clean but then for example you're still going out of your normal duty of course you're not going to tell people to put up their generators you're not going to tell that car that is smoking to stop smoking but because you're already cleansed even when all those ones come you know what happens you will find out that you're still very clean it's already cleansing it's not going to so, so that's what happens 
when you take your aloe vera as part of your detox it's cleansing you so you need to take real food that's where we are make sure you give your system real food food containing like i said you know sapoline that contains selenium rich foods that are also you know malic acids and containing citric acids that can help cleanse your system then the, the third thing about during detox, top tips you need during detox is sleep. You need to sleep well. You need to sleep, sleep well. Because sleep assists with rejuvenation of cells. And it also helps with the healing and repair of our heart, our muscles, our blood vessels. So aim to sleep 7 to 8 hours every night. Because this will actually help you to younger to remove stress from you and then how can this happen you need to be aware of have a sleep hygiene avoid caffeine and other issues that you know will tell on your your sleeping pattern you can go down my page you will see where i talked about sleep and make sure you follow and read up that page if you're having sleep issues in any way all right so i said you need to have get outside eat more meals outdoor like in my house now we have a pasture we have some comes in many times we eat there in fact there's no morning i don't spend one to two hours outside there because i need that vitamin d that comes from the sun that early morning time so try to take food your breakfast outside in, you know if you have a back body in your house put a nice table and a nice chair there so that the sun can touch you especially during for those people who are having lockdown who would need to leave the house so instead of eating your food like those of you who are in the office you go from ac um, house to ac car to ac office you don't even have time to go out instead of eating your lunch or your desk you can go for a walk outside and just decide to go to one or two eateries and relax and eat for a few minutes and come back to the office. You need to breathe in fresh air. You need to breathe in fresh air because it will help you to feel better, to help you to be healthier. It will also help your skin when you're taking all these vitamins from the sun, you know, early morning and good timing sun. So, you know, you need uh, to have all this. Detoxin is not, you know, as confusing and as restricted as many people put it. You know, you need to assist your body to naturally detoxify itself, and so that you can boost your your, your system and boost your health and rejuvenate, and actually enable your body to do what it's actually supposed to do, and make you feel very good. And so it will be worthwhile for you. Like I said, we have a group that we are teaching on detoxification, weight loss, and belly fats, you know, trimming that you can join if you want to join. Alright, so we're going to be looking at some of the benefits of detoxifying your system. And you know, briefly to talk about what we've done today, we've we'll talk about water therapy, we we'll talk about who needs detox why you need it the signs that will come up to show you that you need detox i'm also briefly going to be sharing with us some of the, the side effects that you can have when you're you're having you know, detoxification i remember somebody asked me that question and i said i was going to share you know, some of those signs that you have so briefly if we run through benefits of um, a holistic natural detox number one it prevents chronic diseases in one of my videos i talked about people who allow their bodies their health to deteriorate they don't eat well balanced and dense food they don't detoxify and then their body will begin to ask you know for that and because they're not giving it it will become fatigued tired and the rest sending messages to you but you're not obeying that message after a long while the body gets tired and then chronic diseases like ulcer diabetes heart issues begins to come in so frequent detoxification prevents chronic diseases number two it gives you stronger immunity number three it grants you assistance in losing stagnant weight some people will begin to say ah 
you know, I have tried this thing, try that, try that, and this weight is not good. It's because your club, your system is clogged. You know, your column is clogged. Some people, eh? Like I always ask people, you know how you can test how clogged your column is, how clogged your system is. is. Now you take a big bowl of ever. Let's say there are some people that the ever will be, you know, like maybe two of this my hand. They take a big bowl of ever in the night. Let's start from night and go down. Then in the afternoon they take a big bowl of rice. Then in the morning they take maybe like this size loaf of bread. And then throughout that day, they will not use the toilet. Maybe the next day, the people that will come will be like this. Now, ask yourself, somebody who took bread that is this size, rice that is this size, ever that is this size, and put put something like this, where is the remaining? Or you think the body, this body, if this body takes all that quantity, then we're going to be like, in fact, you can't imagine the size. So this should tell you that the, the size of food you eat and the the size of, you know, poo poo you poo, if you put it, <laughs> and one is so much bigger than the other then there's a problem and that's why some people are carrying all this in their system if you're carrying all that in your system then you will have issues losing weight because you will have what we call stagnant you know and chronic weight that has refused to go and also when your system is clogged like that and is full it will not allow digestion it will not allow even the fresh foods you're eating to go in and give you the nutrients that your body needs so all these are issues why you need to detox and that's one of the things that detoxification gives you all right other benefit of detoxification is also improved quality of life when you go through quarterly detox or daily detox you will be you will have a better life then also you will have increased energy and stamina you find out that you're hardly tired you're hardly you know you don't wake up in the morning you're tired even by the late in the evening you're still strong then you will be radiant you will have glowing skin your face will be radiant, it will be shiny. People that look at you, they say, I was happy to you. Because you're removing the toxins from inside and you're giving your face that glow, giving your skin that glow, you're looking very healthy. Then you will have bright and clear eyes. Not all, you know, some people they have blood, you know, filled and all those uh, toxins in their eyes that's making them not to see clearly. They're having blood vision, they're having the cheese, you know. Detoxification helps you to have bright and clear eyes. Also, mental clarity. You have mental clarity when you detox frequently. And then you have balanced emotion. Not just being moody from here and there, you know, feeling moody all the time. When you detox, you have balanced emotion. You, 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 you have control of yourself. You're not easily getting angry or depressed or, you know, going into all those emotional issues. Okay. Also, when you detox, you have balance. You know, you have improved self-confidence and you are empowered. You feel good. You feel, you feel, you feel, you know, I don't know how to put it. You just feel good with yourself. And then when you detox and you're clean, it helps you to have a healthy habit and a healthy routine. You know, and finally, it helps you to have a uh, longevity. It rejuvenates you. It's anti-aging. It helps you to have good life, and you feel good. And everybody around you actually feels good. Of course, we know that one of the basic, important, and advantages of detox is getting rid of body, you know, any excess waste from the bed body, because that's the biggest thing. Detoxin helps you to do. You know, most de detox programs you know, are, uh, you know, designed in a way to stimulate the body to purge itself by helping the liver do what it's supposed to do, you know, and helping the kidney do what it's supposed to do, and your colon to do what it's supposed to do. And colon cleansing is very, very important. Please, 
our gut is the beginning of health for us. And that's why I always talk about aloe vera gel when I talk about it. And also probiotics for food. It helps you have good health and have, it helps you have good gut life. And that's what it does for you. Okay. Um, for those of us who are in the group, I will go ahead to continue to teach you what you're supposed to do. But also for those who might not want to be in the group, but you need to know what to do so that you can go ahead and do what you're supposed to do for your detox. So the program is very, very easy. It's not very difficult for you to follow. Do your water therapy in the morning if you're going through your detox program. You do your water therapy in the morning. And for three to five days, you try to stay away from the foods that will bring in toxins to stay with to give your body a break sort of and giving your body a break you can either give your body a break by taking vegetable juices or by taking like i said aloe vera gel or by having some supplements for those of us who have stubborn fats that need to go you might need some supplements that you you will need to take and also a kind of a change of lifestyle that you need so I just have some of those things to show you for those of us, some people requested that they want to know what um, they will need, you know, if they are detoxifying. Alright, so a detox pack that I have is Clean 9. Clean 9 detox pack is what my company has made and it has, I use it every four times a year. That's my pack for detoxing. It's already opened now. So in it, you have your light ultra this light ultra is what you're using remember i told us we have three meals this light ultra we take it in our smoothies in the mornings as our breakfast and imagine that you're taking your ubu fresh ubu fresh ubu is very nutritious when you you cook it you're reducing the, the nutrients in it once you put it on fire so imagine you having fresh ubu and eating fresh ubu every day for the next nine days or more or even you know as long as you can this is what helps you to have all those fresh ubu fresh cucumber fresh moringa fresh bitter leaf you know you blend them and you just add the scoop and it helps you to have it fresh all right then that's maybe like your breakfast remember after your morning therapy your water therapy in the morning then you have your smoothies then you can go about in your lunch to take your vegetable vegetables like your egg like carrots like cucumber and then of course remember that your aloe vera gel this pack has two aloe vera gel in it and it also has a tape you can use to measure yourself before you start so you have your aloe vera gel in between this and then you have your pack this pack has three things in it it has jam i brought out the bottle because i usually like doing mine for longer time you know it has garcinia and then it has forever um, fiber in it so you can actually go for this part this part will give you a thorough nine days cleansing and detox and set you back you will glow your skin will be, will be, will be fantastic you will, all these benefits I've talked about uh, about detox will be having. But if you don't have the money to purchase that whole pack and you want to say, okay, let me go with the bottles, I always tell people you can either have this one, this will be poly for forever time, and then you can also uh, combine it with your Garcinia. And then for the person that says, oh, I don't want, I want to do my aloe vera from my house, I have aloe vera plantation, you can just get these three and then have your aloe vera from your home as you like it or leave also for those of us who want to lose weight so those are some of the things we do then in the night of course we also have our cleansing which you can do either with your cucumber water or you can do it with your aloe vera gel so thank you for joining me today i'm very grateful bye